what was it like playing your character in this movie? Um, well, I lost my boys twice, so that was part of it. Um, it was sweaty. It was really, really, really hot when we were filming. And so those scenes where I am profusely sweating is not makeup. That is full on my perspiration. You can pretty much smell it from the theater. <laughs> it's bad. Was it just the heat or um, some of the film uh, looks like it's kind of tiresome? Uh, did you get to... Um... Oh, yeah. No, no, that's part of it is I'm like jumping around like eating plastic steaks off the ground and weird stuff. It's, uh, it, was, it was interesting. What, yes. kind of, what kind of stuff were you able to do, um, seeing as uh, I read that there was a lot of ad-libbing in this? There was a ton of ad-libbing. It was a lot of fun, though, too. My favorite thing was to go in and out of character real quickly. So in and out of the demonic character, I should say. It's like, so I'd be talking to Marla and blah, 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 and then all of a sudden be like, I'm possessed. But better than that. Yeah. <laughs> that um, was really bad. So what was it like working with Marlon, seeing as he was the writer, producer, and an actor? In it? It's intimidating because in a lot of ways Marlon is like something I think so many people in this industry want to be. It's like having this like empire and being so multi-talented and then just going to work and killing it and being a pro and having energy to spare and he's like in crazy good shape. I'm like how does that happen? You and Jamie are hilarious and hot. Not fair. The lovely scarf you're wearing. This is a sash, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm selling these. This is a part of my new clothing line. Jesus pieces. And I got like the shoes that the Pope be wearing. I love her. Sway, green, brown. And the Pope hats. I can't keep them. You know that it's love. Okay, you know what? That's enough. Thank you so much. That's great. Can we help my daughter, please? She was a really white girl over here. Oh my God. I was like, whoa. All right. Y'all some crazy ass. Man, y'all thought I was gonna shoot this bitch? I'm gonna just gonna pistol whip her until she weakened. What was it like working <laughs> with Jamie then? Like working with Jamie is amazing. She is so funny on and off screen. Um Yeah, I really love her. How is it the dynamic between you and Jamie? Seeing as she has to play your mother. Yeah, I mean it was not mother daughter at all. Like mm -hmm. we're I feel she's pretty inappropriate. I'm pretty inappropriate, so we got along. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, she definitely is a pro. We, uh, I was impressed every day working with her. So, seeing as you're both kind of inappropriate, did that ever, you know, come into conflict, or did that add to the story? Oh no, it, it was not a conflict in this movie. Mm -mm. Inappropriate, bring it on. It's pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much the rule. How much of the script did you stick to and how much of it did you outlib? It's hard to say because we did a couple takes every every scene um, on script and then a couple takes ad-libbing. So it's probably 50-50. Who was the funniest person to work with off camera? Oh, that's hard. Oh, that's hard. Um, I can't pick who was the funniest, but... You know, I was, I just was really in the mood to do something fun and lighthearted and just something that I would really enjoy filming. And that was exactly what this process ended up being. There's a lot of big names in this cast. Uh, is there anybody who you would want to work with in future projects? Oh yeah, any one of them. Except for the doll, she was a real bitch. How was it working with a doll? Oh, I didn't work with her. You didn't? She wouldn't come out of her trailer when I was around. One year ago, in this house, one man screamed like a... What are you doing? Bitch, there's a ghost in the house. Deuces! I don't know about this place, baby. You said that about every house we looked at. This one's different. I, I just... No, this one is perfect. Come on, Charlotte Jean. It's like you're scared to come in the house. <laughs> Call 911. Tell them the dog is white. Tell them the dog is white. It's happening again, dog. I need your help. Hell no. <laughs> In the ah! You 
wouldn't know anybody with an auto body shop, would you? Are you serious, bro? Contrary to popular belief, all Mexicans don't have body shops, man. Well, well you think we all have low riders with a freaking Mexican horn? <gasps> Take it easy, Malcolm! Where are you going? Go to swap me. We're gonna get some chihuahuas. <laughs>